Hi, it's Steph from Girl Inspired. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick face mask using your serger. If you don't have a serger, that's fine. I've also included instructions to use a sewing machine, but it is going to be the fastest by using a serger. Okay, let's get started. For one mask, you're going to need two rectangles of fabric cut to 10 and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. It's best to use a high quality quilting cotton, a 100% cotton fabric. Um, and flannel also works nicely as a barrier and it's also soft against the face. For the straps, you can use quarter inch elastic, you can use cordine elastic, or you can even cut uh, just strips, one inch strips of a thin knit. If you don't have knit in your fabric stash, you can even cut up a t-shirt to make the straps. Take the two squares of fabric and place them right sides together. And then go ahead and take your pipe cleaner or your twisty tie for your nose shaper and set it at the top center of the fabric. Surge along the top and along the bottom of your rectangle of fabric. Be really careful when you're sewing over the wire piece, you want to thread it through the machine so that it goes right down the center of the needles and the needles don't hit that wire. It's best to use a cording foot on your serger, but if you don't have one, just go slow. Make sure that you don't break any needles. Okay, now that you have your fabric sewn together, you're gonna turn it right side out and then just use your fingers to work out those seams and make sure that you have your front on your front and your back on your back. Take it to your iron, press it really, really well. You can use a little um, mist from a spray bottle or the steam setting on your iron and give it a good mist. This is gonna help you form the pleats more easily and also hold them in place while you uh, press them. With the bottom of the mask facing away from you, so it's gonna be on the top, and the top is gonna to be on the bottom, you're going to pinch the sides of the fabric and then tuck it under to make a pleat that is facing away from you. And then you'll continue, press really well. Again, that steam really helps hold the pleats in place. This way you don't have to put pins or clips in to hold it. Um, and it will save you a lot of time. So you're going to form three pleats so that the face mask sides measure three inches. And you do want the pleats even on both sides. Take it to your serger and go ahead and zip each side through your serger to secure the pleats in place. Okay, we're almost done. You're going to take the mask and fold the front sides to the back by about a half inch and then you're going to stitch just right along that the serger threads that's way you're leaving in a, a little tunnel for your straps to go through and if you leave enough space here you'll be able to uh, wiggle them through really easily okay so stitch down the sides i like to do it from the back so that i can see where i'm sewing and um, I don't have to guess and accidentally miss that edge of the fabric. Okay, so your basic mask is done. You've got the nose crimp here to help shape it. Now you're just gonna take your um, 30 inch length of strapping, either the knit or the quarter inch elastic, and secure a little safety pin in the end of it. And then just uh, put the safety pin um, into the up. You're gonna string it up through the bottom of one side and then down through the top of the other side so that you'll have um, your, your full strap with the two loose ends coming out the bottom. This makes it really easy to put it on and get it fitted right.
Okay, so that's it. Your face mask is done. Wasn't that so fast and easy? When you put it on, smooth the nose piece across the bridge of your nose and then pull the straps tight and tie them off in the back. Thanks guys, I hope this was helpful. If you need a no-sew version, I have a no-sew version face mask up on YouTube and on my website. Uh, there are links to download the free patterns and instructions for this uh, serger face mask, for the no-sew mask, and also for the homemade mask that has a pocket for a filter. Enjoy.